How do you think about the relationship between mental, physical, and emotional strength and how they need to be applied and when? No, that's a great question. And this is something I've thought about a lot because um, people often underappreciate the importance that being healthy, and I call it whole health, mental, physical, and emotional health, they underestimate the role that he, that has in performing at your highest level over and over and over again. Like if you're not healthy, you're gonna see your performance start to decline over time. Like we know it through injury, we know it through pain, but sometimes we don't associate not being mentally, physically, and emotionally healthy all at once with kind of the performance decrements that can have. And I call them the three buckets of wellness, right? Like one day I had to look myself in the mirror and say, you know what, Julius, like if I had a bucket, right? And I, and I like to characterize it this way so anybody can think about this for themselves, right? Imagine you've got three buckets in front of you. One says mental health, one says physical health, one says emotional health. And then you got to ask yourself, like, how much have I poured into each bucket throughout my life? Like for me, I was like, man, like I have a vat, like a huge bucket of physical health because somebody was making me work out since I was like nine years old. Like I've been pouring into this. But like my mental health bucket, like that's a little bit smaller of a bucket for sure. Like I haven't put concentrated effort on filling this bucket. But then I had like this little red solo cup <laughs> and that was like my emotional bucket. <laughs> like the wind could come blow that thing over because no one ever taught me what emotion was. No one ever taught me how to experience it, how to identify it, how to understand it. And then I thought, man, you want to be elite, right? Like you look yourself in the mirror sometimes. Like, and for me, like I, the voice in my head, like, no, we're going to be elite. But how does that fit my elite standard? If I haven't poured into this bucket, like, am I going to go through life having this bucket that I haven't put any concentrated effort in? Absolutely not. I'm going to go learn about emotion. So when we think about whole health, we have to understand that we break these up as constructs because we've kind of looked at them that way. But for the body, the body is leveraging all three at all times. It's hard to have good physical health, good physical health if your emotional health and your mental health is not right. It's hard to have good mental health if your physical health and your emotional health isn't right. And that's what I love about neuroscience is because it's gonna teach you the way that the cells are all working together. Like those 70 trillion cells in your body, they're not going, oh, this is mental, this is physical, this is emotional. <laughs> they're saying, hey, we have a job to do to get this organism out and doing the things that the mind wants it to do. So it needs to use all three of those and they have to be in cohesion if we wanna show up as our best every day, whether we wanna be a CrossFit athlete, whether we wanna go have one of those offices in one of those big buildings over there and send emails and tell people what to do, it doesn't matter. <laughs> if, we don't have, if we don't have whole health, we're not showing up as the best version we could possibly be. Yeah, it's important for me to hear how important all three components are. Because I know, like, in my college years, if you told me, oh, you only have, like, a red Solo cup with nothing in it for your emotional health, I'd be like, what do I care? I don't care if I'm emotionally healthy. I just want to perform my best. But if you told me, hey, filling up that cup is going to make you a better athlete, might not have been the best motivation, but it would have made me a healthier person overall and then improved my performance where I was focused. Yeah, it, it would have increased your willingness because you have this standard, right? Like, okay, I want to be performing at my best all the time.